Well, good morning. It's great to be with you. Actually, I'm a very proud Michigander today. I'm proud every day, but I'm especially proud today when you, I can look out in this audience and see over 300 organizations from Michigan being represented to be here to help veterans. That's something special. I want to start by thanking General Motors, though. Mary, thank you to you and your team for your leadership. This event wouldn't be happening if not for General Motors. Let's give GM a big round of applause for their great work. Now, the wonderful part of today is there's a whole day to really help learn how best to serve our veterans. They deserve it. And I want to thank each and every one of you and your organizations for being here to be part of that process. Now, during the course of the day, you're going to hear about the benefits of hiring veterans. You're going to go through the process of hearing what objections people might have to having veterans come in and how to respond to those challenges and questions. You're going to hear about how to hire veterans the unique issues, the challenges, how to overcome those barriers so you can be successful in bringing on veterans. A whole day of these wonderful activities that will make a difference. And that's critically important. And I want to thank Disney and USAA for their leadership nationally and for being part of bringing this great event to there. So let's give a big shout out to Disney and USAA. Now in the few minutes I have, what could I add to that? I could talk about how we're committed to veterans, obviously, I hope you know that. The Michigan Veterans Affairs Agency is doing great work. We've made huge progress in Michigan, but I'm not gonna go through all those things, and I'm not gonna talk about facts about Michigan and our veterans. I thought I'd make it really simple, because you're gonna get great information in, in so many details. I thought I would give you one story, one short story, that when you get asked later and you don't have 20 minutes to talk about all the great things, you can make sure that people understand that this is simply the right thing to do. That's the bottom line here. There's a lot of details to do it the best, but to do it is easy. It is simply the right thing to do. Now, the story I'm going to share goes back to the fact of all the responsibilities of governor. There's so many broad things. There's one that stands out in particular, um, that I'm commander in chief of the Michigan National Guard. And that's a huge responsibility. It's also a great honor, and something I take with special responsibility and special honor. Now, as you go through that, there's many things you need to do. You get the opportunity to talk to our guards people. That's fabulous. We're doing great things with tuition assistance now to understand their issues and their lives, how to help them. Um, you have many challenge areas. I also have a responsibility and the honor to meet with the families of our fallen soldiers. And we do that each Memorial Day period to talk to them. But one of the things that came up in terms of being a governor is I had the opportunity to travel to Kuwait and Afghanistan. It was a mission organized by the Department of Defense. I went with two other, two other governors, one from South Dakota, one from Rhode Island. So we made the trip. Obviously, Kuwait, you can imagine that. But going to Afghanistan, when it was very active still, was something truly unique and special. And they actually made special arrangements so we could meet with our guards people in the field. So we were out at a forward operating base in Afghanistan, essentially on the front lines with our troops. And I was with the 125th Infantry from the state of Michigan. Now, to show how easy it is to know this is the right thing, what happened while I was out there? Um, an amazing thing, and this wasn't about me being at risk or anything. What they asked me to do was a reenlistment ceremony in a forward operating base in Afghanistan. There were about a dozen soldiers there that wanted to re-enlist while they were there. And of these soldiers, some were on their first tour of duty, their first term in the Guard. We had other ones there that had been multiple tours, multiple terms in the Guard. They all wanted to re-enlist because of their commitment to this country and our way of life. And talk about character. It showed the strength of these individuals. This is simply the right thing to do. So I was proud to do the reenlistment ceremony with them. To add to that, in fact, after we were done with the reenlistment ceremony, what happened? Uh, they actually had something for me. They came and presented me a US flag. This US flag was a flag they had with them at this operating base. And they made me a case for the US flag. And many of you are familiar with those cases, those nice triangular cases that they present flags in. 
Well, my flag case wasn't the nice mahogany one, not the nice wood one. It was made out of scrap two by fours that they had found on the base and went and wanted to give their governor a flag. That flag's in my office, and every day I, when I see that flag, I know it's the right thing to help our veterans. So when you go through today and you think about the things you're learning, it has special meaning. So you're going to have a fabulous day learning about the benefits, how to do the process. But I wanted to instill something in with you that beyond all that, this is just the right thing to do. And this is a compelling thing to do. And so when people ask how this sem seminar go today, the session, please feel share all the details. But if you don't have time, just tell them the story and why this is so important. So thank you for your commitment to being here. Thank you to all your organizations. And let's not just have a session learning what to do. Let's make sure, based on understanding how awesome these veterans are, we get the job done, we get them hired, we get them in jobs, we get them in careers. Because it's the right thing to do. Thank you so much.